Hey everybody, BK Stunt here with The Walking Dead Episode 3. This is video number 2. Uh, we had just finished telling everybody about what Lee did before the whole zombie apocalypse thing. Everybody but Lily. Haven't talked to her yet, so we're standing outside her door here. There's a lot of good scenes in this uh, video. Some things are just going to blow your mind. It will be amazing. Did you come in here to give me hell or to coddle me? Yeah, ask about the supplies. I wanted to follow up on what you said about stolen supplies. Do you know what's going on? I don't. I just heard you mention it. And you came in here to confess? <laughs> I'm not stealing shit. I came in here to help. There's a traitor. Somebody, one of us, out there. He or she or they have been taking things. For real? Who? Oh, what do you got? Yes, for real. And I don't have shit. I just know. Yeah, she just knows. It counts off and it's the good stuff. Antibiotics, oxy, fuck, anything with opium in it. I see the count and it's fine. I keep my own. That one's getting messed with. I'm a fucking mess right now, but I'm not stupid. I know what happens if I start a witch hunt. So you want me to start one? <laughs> I want you to poke around. What's there to go on? I found this tossed into the garbage. Huh. We don't toss out equipment, we fix it. You'd only try to get rid of a flashlight if you were using it when you shouldn't. Hmm. Maybe. Okay, I'll poke around a little bit. Thank you. If you don't find anything, I'm just going to assume it's you. Oh, of course. So, Lily's gone a little bit off the deep end. <laughs> Jesus, Doc. I'm sorry. Um, I heard you guys talking. You need to unhear all of that. Can I help? What did I just say? You're the Grace Detective, and I can be Dick Grayson. You're Ward. <laughs> so we're Batman. That's Robin. I know who it is. <laughs> I like to let him help. Okay, you're Robin. Yes. What do I do? I, I don't know. Go look around. Let me know if you find anything weird. I'm on the case. <laughs> well, that's cool. Not that it matters if you tell him not to help. Well, we got a broken flashlight. You can uh, walk around and show it to people, as you can see. The flashlight was broken. Was it you? No. You're not in trouble if it was. I know you get nervous and maybe you went out to go to the bathroom. Broke it? Got worried and tossed it. What's with the third degree? I didn't break any flashlight. Okay, then. You gotta question the teenager. Sounds like Kenny actually has that thing running. I'll believe it when I see it. Ah, so we found some broken glass. There's some broken glass on the ground there. You can interact with it. Hmm. Interesting. There's something drawn there. <laughs> a clue. Maybe. What do you think it is? I don't think it's anything. Maybe it's a sign. It could be. It's pink chalk, which is weird. Smart boy. Okay, back to investigating. And of course, we all know who would have chalk. So we found a mysterious X on the side of the building. 
You can go around and ask people about that if you wish. See, there's the X mark there. Have you seen any chalk around? Ah, uh, yes. Clementine loves to draw with it. Yeah, of course. I'll talk to her. She's the one to talk to. Hey, Clementine. Hey, Lee. Do, uh, you have any pink chalk? No, it's gone somewhere. Hmm. Do you want blue? No, no, it's okay. Lee. I found something. What is it? I found this piece of pink chalk and a scuff of it over by the gate. Oh, wow. Really? Totally. I was going <laughs> to see him for clues Yeah, and... Duck, I got it. Good job. Actually, that's a fantastic job. You can't leave him hanging. Come on, guys. Cool. That's a great text prompt there. <laughs> you didn't break the flashlight, did you, Duck? No, Mom and Dad won't let me touch any of their stuff. Lily neither. That's probably for the best. Well, there's the uh, pink chalk scuff. Oh, chalk. Of course, it's leading outside the gate, which is interesting. Somebody was over here, too. See, I did good, huh? Yeah, Duck, you did. I suppose I should go out there and look around. You stay here this time. Seriously. Okay. I love how proud Duck is of himself. The pose he does there. <laughs> okay, now that we're outside the gate, you can try to walk to the left, but uh, there's an invisible wall there. So we have to go to the right. You can check out the fence. Those bandits gave us hell, but they've been quiet for days now. All the arrows stuck into the fence. That's interesting. And thanks to the camera, there's only one area to check out over here. I'm sure you guys know what this stuff is. So, Lily was right. Someone's been sneaking the bandits' drugs. Well, shit. You haven't come up with anything, have you? I came up with this. It's got a bunch of meds in it. It was in a grate on the outside wall. And there's a sign on the other one. Holy fuck. Yeah. Okay, we line everybody up. Everybody. Somebody is killing us. Stealing from that supply is the same as slipping into your room at night and cutting your throat while you sleep. You die. What is the difference? What if Clementine gets sick and we don't have what we need? That may be a little overboard right there. What the hell? You don't fucking steal from us! Oh Who shit. What the fuck is that? Y'all better We've get got our people out there! Here. We ain't fucking around! What do we do? Oh Lily. shit! They're gonna start kicking in doors any second. Lily, what the hell are you- Stall him. What? Just keep him talking. Do whatever it takes to stop him pulling the trigger. You made the biggest mistake of your life. Well, that's pretty risky. But we gotta Nothing do what she says. Shit. Drew, stop putting your boot to these doors. Yeah. Tch. Hold it, asshole. Take it easy. Why are you doing this? Just leave us the fuck alone! Why? This fucking guy. Why? Because we gotta! That's why! They have to. <laughs> Try to make a deal with them. What will it take to reach a deal? About twice as much as you've been giving us. You got it. Done. Is that so? Well, that was easy. I suppose we ought to hash out some terms then. I don't like no hash. Man, shut up! Or I'll <laughs> Oh, shit. Oh, okay, we're about to try a different mode of gameplay in The Walking Dead. Gunplay. You can line up your cursor here and hit X to uh, kill that guy. I totally failed to. 
I fail in the gunplay section a little further on here too, but it's a good learning moment. We're going to have a uh, rifle here coming up. No shit. Those bastards. Cover our people and get them to the RV. And we're going to use it to kill some bandits. This is going to be awesome. Uh, like the thing says, press left to move out of cover. It's pretty easy, you know, line up your sights with the bandit, hit X to kill him. You don't really wobble that much, but if the screen starts to get orange like that, move back into cover. You will die. Got to take these guys out over here. Now, get over here, hurry! Man, you saved our asses. That will save Ben and uh, Carla, Carly. My bad. And over to the right, we have uh, Clementine, Duck, and Katja. Now this is where I end up dying, but you guys will see why. And it's not a zombie. <laughs> the zombies are drawn to the gunfire though. Now what you want to do is make sure the bandits don't move around to the side. You see how I'm focusing right here? Check to the side. They'll try to move around. If you don't get them in time, as you can see, he snuck around. Got right next to Katja, and that's game over. So be well aware of your flank is what I'm saying. Gotcha. Hang on. Where is he? He's right behind that van. Get your asses around behind. Oh, just missed. Okay, there we go. See I'm covering them a lot better this time. Should be one more. There we go. The RV. It's gonna be okay. Go. Oh, get ready to shoot that zombie, guys. Kill it. Oh, Christ. Then they get in the RV. Screw her. Let her stay. Okay, well, we're kind of done with bandits now. But Lily is going to come down. Until she does, we're going to uh, hold out. So... Kill the zombies you see, move to the left, kill those zombies, move back to the right. You know, keep the zombies away. It's kind of like a free-for-all. Move back, kill some more zombies. There we go. Oh, Carly killed that one. But well, she is a great shot, we all know this. Last chance, get down here! Okay, well, everyone survived. Lily didn't want to leave the motor, and yeah. you could tell. Jesus, are you okay? I'm fine. I'm fine. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. I'm sorry. Everything's fine, Everything's ben. not fine. We need to figure out how this happened. We just lost everything. Well, we're lucky as shit to have this RV. And nobody died. Cat's head is split open. I'm fine. Somebody in here caused this. Settle down back there. The bandits have had our number for weeks. This is different. Somebody was working with them. Whoever it was was slipping them our meds. They didn't get their last package, so they attacked. Calm down back there. That's nuts. Lee found a bag of supplies hidden outside the wall. It's true. So, Carly, is there something you want to say? Whoa, Please. pointing fingers. We have to get it out of you then. Back off. You are in no position to make demands. Whoa, 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 you're just pointing fingers. I didn't just come up with this. I've had my suspicions. Probably not the best time, Lily. Why her? This seems like a stab in the dark, Lily. She's always so eager to see what supplies we found. She never talks about her family. She could be related to those bastards for all we whoa, know. Whoa, my family's not a bunch of meth riddled forest people. They're fucking Lutheran. <laughs> You're not saying it wasn't you. It wasn't me. Like, look, maybe we should vote or something like that. Vote? What? Just look. Carly's a stand-up gal and maybe this was all just a mistake. We need to look at the facts. Let's calm down. We'll eat and we'll deal with it. Let me stop waving the finger at everybody. We know something's going on and we can get to the bottom of it if we keep our heads. I know what we found. 
I know, Lily. I know. Nobody was. Oh, she's gonna go anything. off the deep end. Was it both of you? What? I've seen you two together. Was it both of you? Look, just let me out. I didn't do it, but I don't like this. I don't like where it's headed. Lily oh, yeah, that sounds real suspicious. You didn't have anything to do with it. Lily, lay off of him. I. <laughs> Shit's going on up there. Oh damn. I hit something. We gotta stop. All right. Well, we can deal with this now then. How did you not see that coming, Kenny? Really? Kenny, is it safe? Should be. Everybody out. Lily. Out. She's not gonna stop till somebody comes forward. Some good noises right there. <laughs> Kenny, the RV has some surface damage, but there's a walker trapped underneath. God damn it. Everyone keep your eyes peeled. You know what? We shouldn't just kick you out. We should hear what everybody thinks. I think you should chill out. I'm not gonna take this. You can push Ben around, but you can't push me around. I'm really hmm. sorry. Well said. Hey, you got a lot of time to make this decision right no! here. Oh, this dumb fuck walker. So, you know, okay pick what there? you think. Yeah, yeah. Son of a ben, bitch. you have no other options. Leave him alone. You can tell me it was Carly, and then everything will be right as rain. I'm not doing this. Come on, Lee. You're the one who found them. You can't just abstain. Fuck all that. This is nuts. We're out here on the side of the road. Okay, fine then. Kenny? I don't know. Fuck. Just stop, would you? Well, your vote counts for you and Katja. We don't need all these votes. What do I have to do for you to trust me? I'll do anything. Oh, jeez. I'll, I'll do watches for months. Huh. The hell you will. I'll get more food, more medicine, anything. Just you think any of that is good now? Just let me stay, please. God, please. You're pathetic. Look at you. You're making it worse on yourself. I just don't want to be on my own. You should have thought of that. Do we need any more evidence than this? Fuck evidence. Stop treating him like this. Shut up, Carly. Ugh, I've heard enough out of you. Kenny, what's it gonna be? Just give me a damn minute. Yeah, it really sounds like it's been with that. that. Is dealt with to tell me it was her and not you. Stop this. You're torturing him. No. Ben, stop. This is about trust, and I've never trusted you. I did it. What? Yeah, it was me. <laughs> that gets you to lay off the kid? I like picking that option. You're capable of being a real piece of shit. But I know it wasn't you. Not with her in your life. Damn! I got him. Please, let's just get back That's to the That's not RV. happening. You think you're some tough bitch, don't you? Like nothing can hurt you. But you're just a scared little girl. Get the fuck over it. Take you guys ready to have your mind blown? Try helping somebody for once. Oh, the walker's dead. Now, what the fuck's the problem? Holy shit. Oh my goodness. That just... Kenny, what's happening? That just kind of came out of nowhere. Christ. Get in. We're leaving this crazy bitch. Now here you do have to make a choice. You can leave her or you can take her with you. Uh, in my game, I'm gonna leave her because she's a crazy bitch. You're not coming with us. I mean, there's no way. I don't care. You're a murderer, Lily. We can't have you with us. I'm a murderer. You've had Lee with you this whole time. I don't care what he did before. You know. Yeah, he told me. I don't give a shit. If we keep you with us, how long until you get me? And right there, of course, is where your choices on if you told people about yourself before come into play. So that's different dialogue if you didn't. And I'll also point out what happens if you take Lily with you. But that's going to be in the next video. 
Because for now, we're leaving the crazy bitch. You shoot somebody point blank like that. You just lost your fucking mind. I mean, not, not that she was wrong. Somebody was definitely stealing and giving supplies to the bandits, but, uh, yeah. Not how you handle that. Lee, a word, please? You okay? Pacha needs you for something. What's up? Is Duck feeling all right? Oh my goodness. What the fuck? As if the Carly thing wasn't mind-blowing enough. What's the plan? We've never had a bite victim in the group before. I'm going to keep an eye on him and see what I can do from a medical perspective. We keep the same plan unless something changes. East. Guys. What else is there to do? We thought you should know. Important to stay honest with each other. Oh, he looks so sad. Anyway, if you could tell Clementine, we would appreciate it. I guess I should mention, uh... You may not have had Carly for that whole sequence. That could have been Doug. So yeah, the action does stay the same duck is bitten huh he got bit by a walker trying to escape the motel oh man i don't feel good what about carly poor girl had to see that too there was no time for a burial yeah. Horrible. I'm glad I have you. That's a really good dialogue choice. I heard you outside my treehouse that day and thought about dropping a hammer on your head. <laughs> oh. What? Why? In case you were up to no good. Before you, there was this other guy. He was yelling and trying to get into my house. He wanted to take the TV and tried to break the glass door with a rock. Then some walkers came and scared him away. The door was open. He was dumb. <laughs> That's awesome. That's a nice touching moment right there. The game is good about giving you those. From time to time. Uh. Holy crap. Oh, just do some button mashing. Well, that was something else. We got something up ahead. I scared the hell out of me when I first played through this this uh, episode. I wonder if uh, seeing Duck Damn it. bitten blocked. made him come up with that dream about what could now happen to Car about what could happen to Clementine or something. Who knows? Oh crap. One thing after another. There's no getting around that. Well, there's the train that we saw at the beginning of uh, the first video. Is there any way to get around it? Oh, my buddy Doesn't Jonathan like just logged offline. Foot, Hi, Jonathan. Can't really afford to do that now. This seems like a safe area. Well, this brush will stop anything from creeping up on us. Wow. 
Why don't you and I go look around? Yeah, everyone else relax. Clem, stay close to Kenny and Cat, okay? Lee, if you come across anything to drink, uh, if there's a dining car or something, I think Duck's a bit dehydrated. It's a freighter, hon. Be careful in there. What? You think there might be something dangerous inside an abandoned locomotive? That would cross my mind. <laughs> okay, well, that's going to be the end of this video, guys. It's gone on for quite a while. So, the next video, we will explore this train. Okay, see you guys then.